Nessa girl, it is Monday afternoon and the thing from this weekend that everybody is talking about is Offset and Cardi B. Offset and Cardi B. Listen, Cardi B, listen to me daughter. There was an old lady sitting under a tree. She called me over yesterday and she told me to tell this to you. Cardi B, you be a goddamn fool if you take Offset back, okay? I'm gonna address Cardi B, I'm gonna address Offset, and I'm gonna address everybody else out there that got something to say about how she need to take him back. First and foremost, I take exception with all these people talking, especially the game, talking about See, this was wrong with um, families now and why so many kids growing up with no daddies. Do, what do y'all think people did back in the day? Why were they able to stay together? They didn't break up over any little and every old thing. They saw it through. For, you know, till death do us part meant something. Let me tell you something. If that ain't the most misogynistic, stupid ass shit I ever heard in my goddamn life. Yeah, they stayed together, but grandpa was still treating grandma with some respect within reason. He might have had another woman on the other side of town, but grandma never knew about it. You understand what I'm saying? Second of all, y'all keep talking about give him another chance. Give him another chance. Y'all don't know how many chances she don't already gave this boy, okay? We've got... The infidelity, the cheating, and the issues that we actually know about, the ones that make the news, the blogs, then we've got all the other ones that don't. Let's not assume that we know every intimate detail of this girl. Like we know what leaks and what they allow us to know. Um, next but not least, everybody talking about, you know, this is the breakup of a family. This is the breakup of a family. No, the fuck it ain't. This is not the breakup of a family. First and foremost, Cardi B and Offset ain't been together long enough to be a family, okay? A family is more than fucking and making a baby. A family is an institution. A family is a fortress. A family is a force to be reckoned with. A family is something that has been built. They ain't been, long, they ain't been together long enough to build shit. And my whole thing is, if they are going to make a move towards separation and getting on the right track, the time to do it is now. While that baby is so young, it won't know no better as it gets older and they can successfully co-parent, okay? Quiet, let's not, you know what, let's not pretend like Offset getting with Cardi wasn't one big sublicity stunt and a come up anyway because everybody was singing Quavo praises. I still don't even know the third boy in the Migos name, okay? Cardi deserves better. I did a video many months ago maybe over a year ago that spoke to the fundamental issues about infidelity amongst black men street men men of color period and i told y'all in that video i've never sat in an all-male space where i've heard a man talk about cheating on his wife or his girlfriend and all the men in the room look at him and be like hey my nigga you know you shouldn't be doing that you dead ass wrong get up out this barbershop with that bullshit he is always praised and saluted, okay? From, I don't believe Offset's behavior or mindset is gonna change. He's just going to get better with the cheating and the hiding it because at his core, he, his community, nor his immediate surroundings see anything wrong with this, okay? Lastly, I don't appreciate the entertainment community trying to pressure this girl into getting back with him. And I'm gonna tell you something. What Offset did showing up to her concert, that was abuse. He said, okay, I can't get you to answer the phone. You won't take my calls. I don't went around your mama house. She can't help me out. Now I'm going to make this public and try to get the whole public on my side to pressure you into doing what I want you to do. Just so I can get with you in a couple months a year, do it all over again to you. Cardi, move on. Cardi, you deserve better. Cardi, you tried but it didn't work. Cardi, 
You can be with Offset later in life if you want, but I promise you to death, two months of separation ain't been enough to have alone y'all been separated. That has not been enough time for him to learn his lesson. If you get back with him now, Cardi, the message you are sending him is all he's got to do is beg and grovel for a little bit and you will go against your word and get back with him. Trust me what I'm saying, daughter. Don't do it. Spare yourself and save yourself. You got a daughter. And you got to set a precedent for your daughter. Don't you let no man treat you any kind of goddamn way. Now, a lot of times, some bitches don't start at this narrative that I'm against black women. I don't like women. I don't like women. And if, you, if, and, and if this right here ain't in support of goddamn women, I don't know what is, okay? I don't believe in that shit. I don't believe in fucking with these street dudes and they're running up your credit and your pressure. Cardi, you got money. Cardi, you the hottest thing out right now. Quiet as it's kept, I've always been of the opinion that he latched on to Cardi anyway as just a, because it looked good, okay? She was in it for love. He was in it for looks. Cardi, don't do it. Cardi, he is not mad right now. He is not mad right now because he loved you so much and he don't got you. He mad right now because he don't got the prize of the industry right now. I am telling you, not what I heard, but what I know. I have been the confidant to too many girls with to, to that, that date or marry too many rappers, entertainers, athletes, and street dudes. I know what the hell I'm talking about. With this boy's background, with this boy's age, with the amount of females and money he has at his disposal, this is a recipe for your self-esteem, your self-worth to continue to be beat down to the ground, baby. Stand your ground. Stand firm in your word, walk in your talk. Keep going with your business. Keep going with your business. Keep going with your business. This girl needs encouragement, motivation, and she needs solidarity from the community right now. She do not need people trying to pressure her to get with somebody who don't mean her no good, okay? And I mean that with every damn thing I say. Y'all leave this girl alone, show her some respect. Now, Cardi made this whole video about don't be bashing her baby daddy, and that's why I'm concerned, because it feels as if she's beginning to waver, and bam, like that, he's about to have her. I got a feeling that my words is falling on deaf ears, and I got a feeling in a week or two they're going to be together at somewhere eating lunch, looking like one big happy family, and four, five months later, we'll be doing this same video all over again. We already know how this story ends, and that's the thing that baffles me about people. We want to ignore history. Some of us possess zero foresight. Cardi, Cardi, look around the industry. Look at every girl in your position. Look at all these rapper entertainer dudes and look at their stories and how these stories end. Okay? Your pussy not lined in gold. Your throat not lined in diamonds. There is nothing that you can do that's going to keep or change a dude who is fundamentally flawed, okay? He's fundamentally flawed. He practices a lot of learned behavior and not saying that he's gonna be that way forever, but it's gonna take him some time to unlearn this learned behavior and more importantly, see your worth. Not having you for two months, a month, that's not him truly seeing your worth. You see what I'm saying? That's him missing the benefits of the association with you. I'm talking about your worth, your raw strip down. It ain't about the money. It ain't about the finances, your true worth. It's going to take him a while to sit and stew in the fact that I have a daughter. What I want somebody to do to my daughter, what I've done to their mom. That's going to take him more than two weeks of time out, sis. Stay on your ground. Move the fuck on with your life. And if he come back around in a year or two or more, then so be it. But y'all stop pressuring this girl and stop feeling like your family fell apart. No. Phaedra and Apollo had a family, okay? 
They had some years on it. That shotgun wedding y'all had, had this baby, and he ain't respect you straight out the gate. I mean, look at Iyanla. He ain't respecting you straight out the gate. You know, so he don't even understand nor value the institution of marriage. And now you just supposed to run back because everybody wants you to? Uh-uh. Keep your head up, sister. Stand strong. Dineva's with you. Y'all be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll call you later, Nessa girl. Bang!